standing two feet tall and with a six foot wingspan, one of the largest common birds in your backyard is the great blue heron. It's one of the many wading birds that take advantage of wetlands, even in residential areas. Great blue herons are perfectly designed for their role as wetland predators. Just look at the shape. Long legs for standing in water, long neck, and a sharp spear-like bill for catching prey. All wading birds have this basic body plan. Now, watch how it moves, or in this case, <laughs> doesn't. The great blue heron is very good at standing perfectly still. Fast movements would frighten prey away, which is why this bird moves so slowly when hunting. The lifestyle of wading birds is suited for their role as wetland hunters. They usually hunt alone. <laughs> wading birds are rarely seen in flocks. However, there is one exception, and that's during nesting season. Wading birds prey on fish and other small water animals, such as frogs and crayfish. Depending on size, they might also eat snakes, salamanders, insects, or even rodents. Of equal size to the great blue heron, this attractive white bird is not an albino, but a separate species, the great egret. It's another of our ten wading birds, the herons, egrets, and bitterns. Wading birds need open water to hunt, so they migrate south in the winter to warmer, ice-free waters. Migration brings some of the rarer ones through our area even the occasional glossy ibis. In flight, the long trailing legs of herons, egrets, and bitterns are distinctive, as is the lumpy folded neck. Next time you're near any body of water, even in your backyard neighborhood, keep an eye out for these amazing wetland predators.